Hello and welcome to this video. This is going to be short and sweet and to the point and I hope you are excited to learn because I think this this video is going to blow your mind. There is a new technology that came out at the end of 2022 and thank God for it. It is called Chat GPT. Don't even worry about what the heck it stands for. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to get right into the nitty gritty and the meat of what you want to know. This video is going to show you how to create a table of contents and to write a paper. Okay. Now I'm going to stipulate this at the beginning that I am not doing this video for students to go and cheat and have this thing completely write a paper for you for an assignment to hand in as your own. That is complete plagiarism. Do not do it. Okay. But what this video is for is whether you're a student or you're someone in the industry and profession where you are having a brain fog or you're trying to figure out how to organize your ideas in a table of contents format for some kind of maybe white paper or something you're writing, or even a paper for a teacher or something, right? So I'm going to show you how to use this technology to create a table of contents and also how it could write the actual contents for you. So the reason why this is mind blowing is you can go to Google and you can search stuff all day long, right? But Google only gives you the results for the Google search engine. Chat GPT grabs Google search results in addition to a whole bunch of other crap that's out there on the internet. White papers, articles, magazines, and these are scholarly written stuff. So this is amazing technology. It's like having a whole bunch of assistants. You say, go give me the definition of this. And they don't just give it to you from Bing or Yahoo or Google. They get it from everywhere and they give you like complete English sentences, not computer written words, choppy. It's amazing. So let me just dive into it and show you. So I want you to open up a browser and go to openai.com. Now, I will tell you, if you happen to get a message that says, we'll be right back or something, it's because this amazing technology is free and everybody's just realizing it now after a couple months of being out there and a lot of people may be on it at the time, okay? Um, you have to be patient. Just come back, refresh, whatever, and eventually you'll get in. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get in. Um, but what you need to do is you need to go to a browser, open up this, create an account and you need to verify with a real phone number because what they're going to do is after you give them an email address to use for an account, they're going to send you a code over a uh, text. And then once you're, you have that, then you can begin actually using chat GPT. So let me show you what this amazing software does. Let me shrink this down. All right. So when you first go to open AI, you're going to go to the main screen here and you're going to hit the sign up button. Okay. Now I'm not going to do it because I've already have an account, but just go into sign up, put an email address, verify with an account, um, with a phone number, and then you'll be good. All right. And then you'll be able to log in at that point. And once you log in, the screen looks like this and you're like, okay, well, what is it? Uh, these are just some things that I was searching, but in this bar here, you can type whatever you want. So let's say you want it to write a table of contents for a paper on nuclear physics. I don't know. I'm just making up something, right? Watch this. In a matter of seconds, it's going to start giving you an example of a table of contents for a paper that you can write on nuclear physics. Check this out. I mean, seriously, how long would it take you to do this? I mean, it just keeps going and it goes up from like beginning with the introduction and conclusion. Eventually it'll get there. Look at all this information. Isn't that amazing? It's crazy. So now let's say, for instance, this is a paper you're going to write, right? You want the introduction. Okay. Definition of nuclear physics. All right. Let's just take that. Let's say, okay, I want, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what definition I should use. Okay. Write a paragraph. I'll see if I can spell right. Uh, on definition of nuclear. Okay. So I just copied and pasted the first section here and boom, there it is. Is this mind blowing or what? I mean, think about all the different things that you'd have to read to search through online and how long it would take you to come up with the same kind of information that's in this paragraph. Now, let's say, for instance, you wanted more than a paragraph. Say you're writing a blog post or you're writing an article and you said, I need 150 words or I need 2,000 words, whatever. You could tell it that too. Watch this. Write 1,000 words on... Nuclear physics. Of course, now this is really generic, right? Nuclear physics. You might want to do something like write a thousand words on um, the difference between nuclear physics and electrical, um, electric 
engineering. I don't know. I'm just making up. I don't even know what the difference is between those. I'm just throwing stuff out there. All right. So it's now going to write a thousand words for you. So if you have some kind of paper that has to be like a minimum of 500, 800,000 words, whatever, go ahead, type it in. Boom. There it is. And the key thing is after it's done doing its thing, and I'm not going to let it stop here because I don't need this whole thing. You basically can take this then right? And check for plagiarism. See if there's any like rewords, because obviously you're not going to hand this in for yourself. But if you're just looking for information about it, then you can read through and it actually reads like real sentences. So you can take this then and actually put it into Grammarly and check for plagiarism and see if there's repeated stuff so you can fix it yourself. You can add to it, copy paste this into Word and you're done. Same thing with this whole table of contents. Is that mind blowing or what? I mean, did you see how fast that came up? You can ask this, this chat GPT anything and it'll tell you anything that's out there. So like, for instance, for agile and uh, project management, which is my industry that I'm in, what is the dif whoops, difference between, I'll do an easy one, waterfall project management and agile project management. I mean, I know the difference because I teach this and I also do this for a living, but it's going to spit back an answer for me it, in that fast. Instead of going through textbooks, instead of going online and doing a million different searches, it's telling me right away. There's two popular approaches to manage projects, each with its own set of benefits and drawbacks. And it's going and telling me like as if a person's speaking to me. This is in computer language. These are full sentences, full paragraphs written. I mean, look, it's still going it's still telling me the difference between, I mean, I'm sure this is probably enough because there's not that much. Um, and you can probably simplify this in the explanation. But anyway, wanted to show you how this works. It is amazing. I'm sure you're like, holy crap, I could use this for so many different things right now. Especially, I'm going to stop this here. Um, especially for work. I mean, there are probably times where you're like, okay, I need to write some kind of blog for my website. I need to write some kind of article. I have to hand in something to my boss, whatever. You could come in here and tell ChatGPT whatever the heck you need. I mean, let's let's take it one step further. Say you're using Excel and you're like, oh God, I can't remember. I'm supposed to compare this column to this and see if there's any similarities. Well, like, okay, what is the formula, the, let's say, the Excel formula for comparing two columns? You can use exact function. And then you can actually look that up if you want. Or, boom, it just gave you the formula. Partial match. So that's that would be like a Boolean kind of thing. There, boom, formula. Do you see how easy and how fast this came up? It's going to make your life so much easier. It's going to be, every, everything's just going to become so much more efficient. I cannot believe that this technology just came out now, but what a world we live in. All right, so... I just want to go back real quick. If you like this so far, by the way, hit the like button for this video. I'd love to have a bunch of likes and have this passed on because I want to spread this to like everybody I can. All right. So we open that. You created your account. You looked at it. You began using it. You're amazed, which is I am. So what I want to do is I want to see how many people are actually going to use this for work. Oh, actually to make money, which is probably where some of you are going with this. So. If you want to know and see a video or even a course on how to use chat GPT to make money remote, meaning anywhere you live, doesn't matter time zone, doesn't matter your location. You could do this from your own laptop. I'm going to be creating a course in March. Okay. If you want to be on the wait list and get notified when this course opens, email me. This is my direct email. Please don't hand it out to everybody. Um, PMP SME. Because I am a PMP and I'm a subject matter expert. That's why my email is that. But PMPSME at gmail.com. Email me and say, hey, I want to be on the wait list. And I will create the course. And then I will email you to let you know when it's done. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you're going to go and use it. Take advantage of this free technology while it's still free. And email me if you want that course. I would, I would be very happy to help you out.